that's pretty sick. I'm leaving my neighborhood and I ran to this Nissan GTR. This thing is sick, bro. And I almost never see good cars around here, man. I was surprised. I'm like, what the? Yeah, sweet man. I love the sounds this car makes when you're driving it. You can hear like all the turbo whooshing. Such a fun car. When you have these kind of cars, everybody's looking at you. I can't explain the feeling. You won't understand the feeling until you actually live it. We're about to get copyright striked down to the or I don't care, man. I'm having so much fun. I want all of you guys to meet your goals. Sometimes you gotta take the copyright strike. This song is so good for this moment. I remember those days, but I wanted a supercar so badly, I thought I'd never be able to get one. And I would watch the videos with the same beat and dream about getting a supercar. And now we're in the fucking car with the music, guys. That's why you can never, ever give up on your dreams. Don't ever give up. We get the limo in front of us, and we're about to meet up about seven other supercars. It's gonna be an insane afternoon. And I couldn't do this without the proper inspiration and motivation. Yo, what's up, Car Kings? It's your boy, Scott Leonard, your favorite YouTuber's favorite YouTuber, out here with the guys. We are heading to Lamborghini Orlando for Supercar Sunset. It's going to be an insane drive. I'm a little worried. I'm looking up at the sky. Forecast that it's supposed to be thunderstorms. So far, there's no thunderstorms. Hopefully, it stays that way because I've been itching for a drive. As you guys know, the last time I went out with these guys, it rained. We still got a little bit of a drive in, but it's so stressful when it's raining. Hopefully, we get there before it starts raining and we can get some crazy footage for you guys. Come on, guys. Look at the spec on the 720S. And he just added that new roof scoop. I know he's enjoying that thing. All blacked out. That's a beautiful spec. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> when you're driving now, can you hear the air going through the scoop? No. No? Looks good, though. We're heading out of the gas station. Car is topped off. Catch you guys when we get there. Well, that didn't go as planned at all. I never got a chance to get close enough to these guys to even get them on camera. I definitely need a camera person if I want to do this properly. It's so hard to drive with the camera in the hand. My fuel tank latch was open, so I had to pull over and close it. And by the time I closed it, these guys were gone. And like, hell no. We made it to the Lamborghini dealership. The drive here was insane. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get it because on my way here, I had my gas cap open. By the time I closed the gas cap, these guys were gone. Check this out, the new Revuelto. Viola Persefe. That thing looks insane. That's a beautiful color. That's a beautiful spec car. Okay, I'm gonna go inside and see what they have in there. Crazy orange ammo, insane. It's not road legal. You can only use it for the track, and they'll track bait for you. Super trophy able to. This looks lit. I'm gonna lie, this does look lit. There's so many Lamborghinis in here. There's so many SVJs. Like, what the hell is going on in Orlando, man? Look at that. You got the new Revuelto. This 720S must have stuck in here. Gentleman spec here. Gray with the chrome lining. So there are SVJs everywhere now. More SVJs in Miami. You got the SV. I am not gonna lie or exaggerate this SV. When it was coming in, sounded so good. Rift exhaust. Got two of them. Even though I kind of like this red a little bit more. Then you got another SVJ in white. STO, another SV, another SVJ. I'm pretty sure that's a Roadster. STO, let me know what you guys think about the white wheels. Chris just pulled up with the SV, making a ton of noise. I can never show off in a meet. I don't want to be the guy who crashes my car. To show off. This SV sounds the same. They are rowdy as hell. Orlando's becoming Lamborghini crazy though. There's so many Lambos here. Trying to make content. We're glad you came out, bro. Yeah, of course. I, don't, I just woke up. I was asleep. I am surprised by what I'm seeing here. You guys are going to be shocked. In front of me is the new Ferrari SUV Puro Sangue. 
first time seeing it. If I'm keeping it real, it's kind of giving me Mazda vibes. Painted shield, that's a crazy option. Beautiful color, but like I said, this thing is giving me serious Mazda vibes. I don't know if I would take this over a Urus. There's a lot of carbon fiber. Look at this back bumper diffuser, all carbon. The look of the car is a little bit too tame for me, and they want a lot for these. It's got the Bentley convertible. This thing looks beautiful. The GT3 Porsche, Anthony's new car. My McLaren 570S with the doors up, because you guys know what happens when the doors go up. Huracan Technica, the 720S, and Cosmo Black with the new roof scoop. R8, a Carrera, another Aventador, Roadster, the Arturo. I need to get a ride in this soon. 720S with the beautiful carbon. This guy's going back and forth, man. You can, I don't know. Whenever guys, you love it, whenever you go to a show, never show off because you don't know what's gonna happen and you don't wanna be the person who fucks up. Especially on a bike. Especially, Especially on a bike. Yeah, he's Paul, that's insane. He's but, trying to show off. Yeah, yeah, he's trying to show off. But I was gonna say, let's walk while I talk, so it's like, so I have a good background. <laughs> hey, what's up, Chris? How are you, buddy? Are you good, man? Good? Yeah. I have the problem of when I go to these shows, dude, I have great conversations with people and then I don't film it because I get nervous. And I don't know why I'm fucking nervous because it doesn't really even fucking matter, bro. My point was that I'm stopped, I'm done with Instagram. Instagram, I mean, I'll post occasionally, but I'm not gonna let the algorithm, the Instagram algorithm, guide my entire life. And I see like these guys, like they're like posting every single day and not getting any views because they keep changing the way the algorithm works. And I just don't think it's worth it, man. And plus, the payout's not worth it. You shoot YouTube Shorts does the same exact thing. So yeah, yeah, yeah. YouTube Shorts either. Yeah. Because like one day they'll have this algorithm, next thing they have, and they don't like cars. I don't know. They Instagram. don't like driving. And the reason I think is because the of the takeovers. whole takeover crap. Takeovers. Takeovers. Crap. I'm pretty sure law enforcement reaches out to them and says like, "Hey, can you suppress this because they don't want people acting a fool with cars." Why are you making content? Are you making content you like or are you making content that you don't like for views? Well, if they're suppressing it, then it's like at that point you just do what you gotta do. Yeah, but... It kind of sucks. It's kind of double-edged sword. It's like, you know, if you do, if you don't... I just want to live my life and have fun though, man. Like, I make car content. It's not even like actually like talking about the specs of the cars or anything. It's more like vlogging. And honestly, if I wanted to get like a ton of views, I could just do reviews. I could just do car reviews. Like, oh, today, guys, we're going to do a review of the Porsche Turbo S. Like Which you actually should do because you have <laughs> access to all these cars. I don't know why you don't. I don't know why you don't do it. I Dude. mean, Google, Google that mother sucker. Learn how to speak. Be the next Doug DeMiro or something. Be the Orlando version. I don't do it because it's boring, bro. Like, I get it. Like, it, it'll get views. It's honestly, it's, it's not boring. I don't know why I get caught up on watching documentaries. I'm, the not cars, a, I'm not a big car guy, bro. I'm like a more of like a lifestyle dude. For me, like, coming to these events is about the lifestyle, seeing the car, seeing the people, like, seeing the action, driving fast. Like, driving fast, having fun, and seeing cool shit. Like, I don't want to, like, California go over specs. California Vloggers has already milked that. So yeah. That. And it's kind of hard. Supercars are kind of, like, yeah, overrated. It will get views, but not. Not like 2016. If I had that car in 2016, I'd be famous. And if I had a house back in 2008, I'd be rich. I, mean, <laughs> <laughs> economy now, but I should have so. bought a house when I was six years old. Oh. You talking about the car too small coming from me? Yes, that's him. The dude with the Amir is like an influence or something? I know, I don't ever met him. I don't know. I just like, <laughs> you suck at shit. That's why the whole black people stereotype, do they know each other? Because we just go up to each other and be like, hey, what's up? No matter where we're at, no matter where we're from, I mean, it's just showing love. I don't know the dude, but hey, he's cool as hell, I guess. Hey, yeah, 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 you gotta show love, man, because out here in these streets, that shit's, that shit's not that easy. Beautiful purple Slam 720S. With the tint, Mr. 720S. And your brother? All in. Good. Damn it. Anthony, I always miss it, man. Yeah, I, he did his thing. I always miss it. I tell Anthony, I tell him, if he's going to do something crazy, let me know because I want to get it on camera. Every time this guy leaves, he always does something insane. And then he never tells me, so I never get it on camera. You saw what my boy Anthony did? Oh, man, of course I missed it. I yeah, he did some donuts over there. A lot of people don't. You're driving the hell out of that car. Bobbing, bro. You're driving the hell out of that car. A lot of people don't realize how petty the supercar community can be. I put myself on the line when I make content for you guys because I get so many messages from people, locals, telling me they don't want to be on camera. But you know what I say to those guys? Fuck them. If you don't want to be on camera, then you should come up to me, be a man, come up to me, and tell me, hey, I don't want to be on camera. Don't be sending like little secret messages online, because if you do that, I'm going to tell you, fuck off. 
got the Hellcats SRTs out here representing Mopar out here. The big boy Lamborghini's heading out. This is gonna be insane. Everybody's running to see this car when it takes off. Ear piecing, ridiculous exhaust. Sheriff's department out here. Got the cyber truck rolling in. Can somebody put my refrigerator back in my house. <laughs> the black series. <laughs> Not hating, but right now, right now you don't see them that much. But in about a what year you and a half, you don't two? see them. At, I yeah. see them everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. I see them. Everywhere. Wow. You don't go out on them because I see them everywhere. And Man, did you say you blew it up? That's like wow. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not the first time, though, right? Uh, no, no, no. How many? Honestly, honestly, how many times does it happen? Well. <laughs> Tran transmission, two clutches, a motor. Damn. Um, supercharger hasn't blown up yet, though. Damn. That's, supercharger is stronger than the car. That's crazy. Uh, that upgrade, what you going to upgrade to after that? A, little, a different car? I uh, know, a different car. Are you taking it to the strip, right? Uh, here and there, yeah, sometimes. Get you a 720, match with him. That'd be insane. Yeah, yeah he got to work for it, man. Well, I'm too poor for that. He said I'm too poor for that. Things are wrapping up here. Me and a few guys are gonna grab something to eat, and then I will be going downtown Amway Arena to film some reels. Overall, the show was lit. There were so many cars, so many exotics, so many supercars. The only thing it was lacking was food. If there was food here, it would have been a great event. I'm super hungry. If I wasn't as hungry as I am right now, it'd stay longer, but I really need to eat something. So I'm gonna grab something to eat. My oh, man, <laughs> Matt Yates over here, that was the guy who helped me get this car. All the spectators here. Bad news. I just heard a rumor that one of the guys crashed on the way leaving the show. Now I can go make some content. I just finished eating. I've been trying to get rid of this belly. <laughs> And that won't help me one bit. But anyways, we got the boys out here with the cars. Beautiful sunset here in Florida. Forecast said it was gonna rain. I don't see any rain. Looks like we won today, guys. Look at that. How much can I talk about this one car? In oh, one I know the feeling. The performance, the driving, what it looks like. What are you talking about? There's so much to talk about. I just told one of the kids like a year ago, I didn't think I'd be in the market for any one of these. And now I'm actually like, in the market for one, I'm a little bit low key with myself. I like to work in progress, uh, work in silence, and just pop out. Yeah, yeah. talk but in like, silence. Right, move in silence. So I move in silence. I don't tell nobody my business. Like when I bought my sleeper build, I didn't tell nobody about it but him. And then all of a sudden, I, po I popped out with it. Yeah. I heard you say that earlier though about uh, being in the market. And I wanted yeah. to butt in, but I saw you're talking with someone. Like that's yeah, how I'm life is though. Yeah, I'm like, in the, life I'm is in just actually about progression. Market. Yeah, what are you doing, man? Yeah, yeah I'm software engineer. Right, YouTube kind of obviously I started doing that maybe like a Even year after ago. like yeah. that's cool. Yeah. I'm one of these in market. Yeah. Yeah, I'm buying one maybe three years. Yeah. I got my own shop. So okay. Yeah. And I got, got a Hellcat truck right now okay. and a GLE 350, but I, man, I want a McLaren. Sweet. That's what I was trying to tell him until my girl called. That well, and life is just progression, man. Like five years ago I didn't think I would ever have one of these cars. And then I started just working towards my goals and like now I got that. Damn bro, I had a shitty ass job and I was just like, how can I make more money? And I started like researching like how to do marketing, like Facebook marketing ads and all that stuff. And then I tried to make an app for myself to do that. And then when I finished learning how to make the app, I was like, why the fuck am I doing this? Like, I might as well just get a job doing it. And now I'm like doing uh, YouTube. You just gotta stick to one thing and focus on it, that's all. Everybody moves at their own pace. Like, it just depends on like your goals and like what you wanna get. 
I just poured all my energy into it. I was like obsessed. In a few years, bro, like that's what I was just telling the guy who, who was just talking to me. I, I never thought, like five years ago, I never thought I'd be able to even afford like any of those kind of cars. And it's yeah. just like, you just stick to your goals, focus, put in the effort, bro, and you'll get there, bro. It's not, not that gonna hard. lie, it takes a lot of time. I didn't realize how much time it would have took. Yeah. But it happens quicker than you think. If you actually like don't blow your money, just do what you like doing, have fun, and the money will come. Like I've been blessed to be in situations I talk to people and stuff, and they put me in positions neck wording and stuff like that. And now I'm in the position and I'm not even 25. I'm over here looking at a hundred thousand dollar car and I'm sitting here like, dude, my parents can't even afford this. Like they've been working their whole lives. And they can't even come nowhere near this, so I, I'm You just gotta set your goals high and focus, dude. If you set your goals high, you focus and you put in the time, yeah. and you get rid of all the distractions. Get distracted. Dudes get distracted by these yeah, yeah. chicks. No, no, no. Well, no sometimes. No, they get tricked, man. Sometimes, no, man. <laughs> we're young, bro. We already know these dudes be like, oh, she bad, and all this other stuff, and then they end up spending all their time, all their money trying to please a chick that don't even love them, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, at all. They just want you for what you want. Uh, which you can give them then you also it's not even just girls but i'm just specifically talking about girls because dudes i mean I, I know if you're going to use your time use your time learning a skill and learning how to master that skill no matter what it is it could be small carpeting or whatever people build businesses off of just basic skills dude i know a guy one of these guys that has a supercar who literally sells light bulbs, bro. He became a millionaire selling light bulbs. Focus. You wanna know what he sells? The one that wants this, you know what he yeah, sells? Yeah, I, I, he told me, but I don't Filters. filters. AC air, filters, air, bro. Right? AC air filters for your home. And he owns a 720. So you just gotta lock in, man. You gotta lock in, and I promise you, if you lock in, you'll be able to have one of these cars in maximum four years. It's not that hard, dude. People think that they obtain such status and you have to um, do some miraculous crap like no. be some like big YouTuber or something. You can just be a regular dude that's smart with his money that can then, even if you do, learn how to invest just a little bit, you don't have to be a master trader, just to learn how to invest just a little bit. If you're working at a job, let's say you're working at fucking a fast food place, you're working at McDonald's. Dude, that's your MBA right there, bro. Study the fucking business. Like you could be the fryer, but you can observe and see how they handle like customer uh, invoicing, uh, inventory, all that stuff. They paid attention. Like, this is the advice that they gave me. They was like, look, even though I was in the drive through line, I was paying attention to the logistics. Yep. I was asking questions. Hey, what do you got? What are you guys' model? Stuff like that. They talked to the other GMs of the other stores. So they he, that person had neckworded with their bosses and stuff like that. And their bosses got them in the position where they are. So it's not even just about what you know, it's about who you know. And that's why you treat people with respect and you work hard because if somebody's noticed that you're working hard, they'll put you, they, if they can, they'll put you in that position and you'll be making some money. I think a lot of people sleep on it. Like where in society, like there's room for women to be delusional and to coast through life. But as a man, you should be just gathering fucking skills. The worst thing you can do as a man is not gather skills. And then when you become 30 or 40, you're going to be a nobody. As, as misogynistic as that probably sounds. Life is misogynistic though, bro. But, but, the, but <laughs> there's no, you, you're kind of right about that. I mean, yeah, there's no, you, there's no excuses. Like we don't get excuses. So get out there and just make it happen. Nothing like downtown Orlando. Heading to the Kia Center. But I'm back at it again. Your favorite YouTuber's favorite YouTuber. And today was insane. Spent most of the day at the Lamborghini dealership, checking out all the supercars there. Then I grabbed something to eat with the boys. And now we are taking some photos downtown, downtown Orlando. Which honestly, I have to say, the city is starting to impress me. It's starting to grow. We got some sick reels. So if you're not following me on Instagram, go check out my Instagram. It's car underscore Buddha. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. We're wrapping up the night. As you can see, I am sweating like a pig. It's so humid out here. We already did most of our photos and videos for the night. I think it came out pretty sick. I'm, I'm hyped to see what I got. Today was a blast. I don't know if I'm gonna go out tomorrow. If I do, it should also be crazy because I know that tomorrow they're gonna be doing an event at the Speedway. We crashed this photo shoot. <laughs> this, throws, this is major throwbacks to me in 2012 when I used to do photography, man. Look at this. So that's gonna be sick. Hopefully they tag us in the videos. When they get the camera when they shake my ass, bro. <laughs> Give me your money. <laughs> I'm like, damn. Tonight has been a fire night. Catch you guys on the next one. Insane drive, man. 
can't make this shit up. Look at that. Oh, God. Late night driving is the best.